so hello everyone this is problem session 7 so again uh, it's just the fifth problem that we are going to extend further to the seventh problem so here we are saying that uh, ISS is increased that is made double 2 milli ampere and ID1 and ID2 are same that is means so ID1 and ID2 will be half of that ISS by 2 that is 1 milli ampere okay so earlier it was in the fifth problem you remember it's a point 1 milli ampere so 0 0.5 0 0.5 is there but in this problem it is made double so id is made double now you have been asked what is the overdrive so definitely overdrive will increase right because the current requirement is more so this has to increase so we know that formula under root of 2 id by beta so we know that id is what iss by 2 and beta is 0 0.134 milli into w by l w l we are taking the to the fifth problem that is 100 right w was 50 and uh, l was 0.5 so when you are solving it you will get uh, overdrive is 0.386 volts Second problem was that it suppose uh, this V1 minus minus V2 that is 50 millivolts. What is the change in the current in both ends? So we know how to solve this problem. So we know this formula that we have derived in the problem session 5. So delta ID is beta by 2 delta V under root of 4 ISS of beta minus delta V in whole square. So beta we know, we know delta V, we know ISS, we know beta, and this also we know. So we substitute here all the things. So what we are getting is 0.258 milliampere. So if suppose ID1 will be what? ISS by 2 plus delta ID by 2 and ID2 will be what? ISS by 2 minus delta ID by 2. So we will get 1.53 milli and 0.87 milli ampere. So this is the second section, second sub part. Third part, sub part is transcurrentness you have to derive. So again we have derived in the session fifth. So this is the formula beta by 2, 4 ISS by beta minus 2 delta v in square whole divided by and root of 4 ISS by beta minus delta v in square. So we know delta v, we know ISS beta. So we can definitely find out GM, not a problem, right? So we just substitute the values, whatever we have, and we get this 5.18 milli ohm inverse. So this is the transcendentness. The fourth problem, that is the fourth sub part is interesting. So again, GM is taught by 10% and 90%. You have to find out what is the delta V in we will need for that, right? So if suppose GM is taught by 10%, uh, so it is 0.9 times GM. So delta V in square, we again have derived in the fifth problem session. 4a minus v plus minus under root of 4a minus p whole square minus 16 times a square minus a v whole divided by 8. So a is 4 ISS of beta. So you can see here that the with respect to the problem session 6 that beta has what doubled right because beta there was half of the fifth problem. ISS has doubled with respect to the fifth problem. So a is remaining unchanged. So in a way you will see the delta v in changes 197 millivolt which is the same as the problem session 6. Okay, so what we are concluding from this problem is the delta V remains unchanged with respect to problem 6, GM is increased and overdrive is increased. When you have increased ISS but delta V unchanged. So the linearity range will remain unchanged. Thanks for this session. We will be solving further session, further problems down to the session. Thank you.